Hi there, folks. Gareth here from TracyMatt.co.uk, and I'm having at the Olixar pocket size selfie pole with a cable and mirror. This is our third selfie stick that we've been looking at in, in recent weeks, and it's the third different type that you can get. Previously, we had a look at the, the regular selfie pole, which stretched up to a meter long, and uh, Olixar's uh, Katana ninja, si ninja style selfie pole. This is their pocket sized one uh, for you to smuggle into Disneyland, if you like. Okay, so but, well, we'll take the pole out and we'll have a quick look around the box and see what it reveals. Okay, so ready to use, out of the box, quick capture, built in shutter button, and Plug and play, no batteries required. Take HD photos, provided you've got an HD camera, of course, uh, with built-in selfie mirror. Now, that's the trick here. Wired connection. Okay, uh, once again, reiterating, ready to go, and no batteries required for smartphones and more. Mm -hmm. uh, universal, take HD photos, pocket-sized, and long extension, up to two feet and how to use. We'll maybe need that. Okay, so here it is, in a little baggie. And it is actually quite dinky, I suppose. It's quite small. I would compare it against the uh, the larger selfie pole we have. However, it appears to be a way out with my wife. She's really taken to it. Okay, so this is, on the bottom here, we have no connector for a charger or a Bluetooth button like on one of the other ones. Uh, this appears to be the mirror, much like you would see on the back of phones in years gone by. They used to have a little mirror here. And we open it up and we have a wire here that comes out and round and up to here with a little catch so this doesn't hang loose. You can actually plug it into there. That's that's a nice addition. Quite impressed with that now. Keeps everything neat and tidy. And then whenever that folds round, I suppose you have that wire, but you could work in such a way that it folds in under. You could wrap it round a couple of times or whatever. Yep, that, that that's a, a neat addition that I don't think was resident on the, the Katana one. Okay, so obviously this is where the phone sits black plastic, fairly sturdy, bit of foam at the bottom here, bit of foam at the top to uh, keep your phone secure, uh, angled so your phone will slide back in there. Uh, don't see that being a problem with any phones actually. And it stretches quite far so you could possibly fit in a Galaxy Mega there. What we are going to put in is, a, is an LG G4 that might actually be stretched to capacity. Maybe it takes a little more. So the, the 6 Plus and things should, should work in that, no problem. Then obviously this little doohickey here plugs into the audio connector. Just there. And the phone buzzed as it detected it. But then it does that whenever you put in headphones anyway. And that's your lot. There's a little, obviously that keeps falling over, but we can tighten it just like so. And we can take pictures like this, which is an important factor. Uh, some people don't like using their front facing camera and would much rather utilize the larger sensor on the back, which makes sense. And I can see myself there. You can't see me because of the angle. There we go. You can see me now. Hello. So if I take a picture of me and the camera cuddled together, cuddling with my little camera, Oddly enough, I think I might have blinked there. I did. It took a picture of me with me eyes shut. Okay, well, that was the first try on it, so we'll go again. There we go, it's messing with it. But then I suppose I'm in the gallery. So if we come back, turn it around, frame it up, keep my eyes open. Take lots of pictures, because I do like doing that. Capture every moment. 
There we go. My eyes are open this time around. Very natural look for me there. Oh, right. Yes, uh, obviously that's... Plays as a bit of an animated gif in a way. Okay, so dead simple. Very easy to take a picture. Not badly framed, I suppose, because I was trying to keep it in the frame of the screen and the camera as well as on here. It's a, a useful addition and it <laughs> allows you to take advantage of this, which is a big thing. So it's amazing that with some, something as simple as a selfie pole, you can have so many different uh, choices, uh, different configurations. I haven't done this yet, actually, I haven't uh, held it all the way out. Like this. Um, that is a good two foot reach. It, it does feel a little, it doesn't like the weight at the end. Now the G4 isn't a particularly heavy phone. It's certainly not a Samsung Galaxy Note 5 or, no, the 5 is not too heavy either. The 4 is quite heavy, I suppose. So there is a bit of, a bit of a bend and I think, can you see the bend? There is a tiny bit of a bend just here. Using something at the the heavier end of of the market might actually have a few problems. Uh, it's certainly not the stick itself. The stick is very light. It is the weight of the phone entirely that uh, is causing for this bend. However, it's not something that's going to sit out extended the entire time. Uh, of of the three selfie sticks that we've had a look at, um, easily the first one, the first original Elixir selfie pole, is without a doubt the best quality. However, the difference here is that this, whilst retailing for £15, you can buy it off Mobile Fun for £7.50 or thereabouts. And I think at that kind of price, the tech here is is justified. It's worthwhile. It's it's not bad. I should actually speak about the materials used. That would give you a better idea. Uh, around here we have a bit of a foam handle. We've got a rubber neck here with the, the button underneath. The neck does move and the button stays still, so I can do that. You can see the button is sticking up there, so it's just luck that that stays there. And it's a simple huh, clicky button with a wire. <laughs> Then, of course, this is aluminium, all the way up, very light aluminium. I'll take that out, take the phone out altogether. And the rest is just plastic. And then the mirror itself is just a bit of plastic. Concave or convex. Oh, and there's a little bit of protective plastic on there. There we go, we can take it out and we can put it back in again. And there's a little piece of plastic there to stop you sliding the whole way through. So if that does get scuffed or marked, you don't have to go and buy a whole new one. You can replace this with something similar. You could even put in, if you were to find one, a small mirror. That's all it is, is a... A one millimeter, two millimeter groove that that holds it in place. Simple as that. Or you can turn it around the other way. No, you can't turn it around the other way. Oh, well, see, the the lot the top is wider than the or narrower than the bottom. And there's a little fitment back there as well for the piece of plastic to fit into. So there has been a lot of thought, design put into it. Uh, to make it a little more ergonomic, to make it a little more plush or value for money. And it's quite good. I quite like it. it is, it's really pocket-sized. It, you could dump it in the, the door bin of your car or something, or 
A girl could keep it at the bottom of her handbag. I know that's what my wife is doing with the larger one at the moment. So she will probably replace it with this. But for a little teenage girl or something like that who wants to go out and take some selfies, then this is your lot. And then us guys will obviously use the Ninja Katana Blade that uh, was reviewed last week. And you can check that out in the notes below. All right, well, that is the Olixar selfie pole. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you, you can't wait to go out and get one yourselves and evade security at Disneyland and be able to take those selfies all you like without anyone knowing. All right, take care now.